Hi welcome back to our channel in this video, I will tell you about Good Omens is a British fantasy comedy series created by Neil Gaiman based on his and Terry Pratchett's 1990 novel of the same name one. It follows the angel Aziraphale and the demon Crowley, who have lived on earth since its creation and have formed an unlikely friendship over the millennia too. They are both representatives of heaven and hell, but they have grown fond of humanity and enjoy the pleasures of life on earth. They also have a mutual agreement to not interfere with each other's work, as they believe that the balance between good and evil is necessary for the world to function three. However, this does not stop Crowley from trying to tempt Aziraphale into doing things that are against his angelic nature or his orders from heaven. Crowley is a cunning and charismatic demon who enjoys causing mischief and chaos, but he also has a soft spot for Aziraphale and respects him as a friend. He often uses his persuasive skills, his knowledge of human history and culture, and his sense of humor to sway Aziraphale's decisions or make him question his loyalty to heaven. Here are some examples of how Crowley tempted Aziraphale throughout history in the show Good Omens. In the Garden of Eden, Crowley, then Crowley, was the serpent who tempted Eve to eat the forbidden fruit. He also gave his flaming sword to Aziraphale, who was guarding the gates of Eden, so that he could give it to Adam and Eve to protect themselves from the cold. This was Crowley's first act of kindness towards Aziraphale, but also his first attempt to make him disobey God's command for. In 31 Aid, Crowley and Aziraphale met again in Jerusalem, where they witnessed the crucifixion of Jesus. Crowley tried to convince Aziraphale that Jesus was not the Son of God, but just a nice man with some good ideas. He also suggested that they should intervene and save him from his fate. But Aziraphale refused, saying that it was part of God's Plan 5. In 537 Ad, Crowley and Aziraphale were in Britain, where they witnessed the battle between King Arthur and Mordred. Crowley had given Excalibur, the legendary sword, to Arthur, hoping that he would use it to unite the kingdoms and bring peace. However, he also secretly gave a fake Excalibur to Mordred, hoping that he would use it to kill Arthur and cause war. Aziraphale discovered Crowley's deception and confronted him about it. Crowley admitted that he was bored and wanted to see what would happen if he played both sides. He also tried to persuade Aziraphale to join him in his mischief, but Aziraphale declined six. In 1601 aid, Crowley and Aziraphale were in London, where they met William Shakespeare. Crowley had influenced Shakespeare to write a play about witches and demons called Macbeth. He invited Aziraphale to watch the play with him, saying that it was a masterpiece of literature and drama. He also hinted that he had a hand in inspiring some of Shakespeare's other works, such as Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet. Aziraphale agreed to watch the play with him, but he was not impressed by it. He criticized it for being too dark and violent and for portraying witches and demons in a positive light seven. In 1793 aid, Crowley and Aziraphale were in Paris, where they witnessed the French Revolution. Crowley had been involved in stirring up the rebellion against the monarchy and the aristocracy, hoping to create a new order based on liberty, equality, and fraternity. He also enjoyed watching the executions by guillotine, saying that they were entertaining and educational. He invited Aziraphale to join him in his fun, but Aziraphale refused, saying that he was appalled by the bloodshed and the cruelty. He also tried to save some of the innocent victims from being killed, such as Marie Antoinette VIII. These are just some of the many examples of how Crowley tempted Aziraphale throughout history in Good Omens. As you can see, Crowley always had a hidden agenda behind his actions, whether it was to cause trouble, to test Aziraphale's faith, or to express his affection for him. However, despite their differences and conflicts, Crowley and Aziraphale always remained friends and allies against the forces that wanted to bring about the end of the world. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to check out the show Good Omens on Amazon Prime Video 9 or BBC 210. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Thanks for watching please like, share and give feedback.